Good morning. Today we are taking up Anita Desai, her life and her works. So let's begin. Anita Desai is an Indian novelist, a professor of humanities at the Massachusetts University Institute of Technology. She was born in 1937 in Missouri. Her mother was Tony Ning. She was a German immigrant and her father was a Bengali businessman who met her mother while doing his engineering in Berlin. After marriage, they moved to Delhi. She has two sisters and one brother. Her daughter is Kiran Desai, recipient of Booker Prize. Anita Desai knows Hindi, German, Bengali, Urdu and English. She learnt English first of all and she began to write in English at the age of seven. And her first story got published when she was nine. She received her education at Queen Mary's High Secondary School in Delhi. In 1957, she completed her graduation from Miranda House of the University of Delhi. She married Ashwin Desai, a software company director. He was also an author of Between Eternities, Ideas of Life and the Cosmos. In 1958, she collaborated with P. Lal and found the publishing firm called Writer's Workshop. She published her first novel, Cry the Peacock, in 1966, uh, 63, sorry. She considers Clear Light of Day, that was published in 1980, as her most autobiographical work. In 1984, she published In Custody, about an Urdu poet in his declining years. And it was shortlisted for the Booker Prize. She became a creative writing teacher in 1993. She gained immense popularity with her novel, Fasting, Feasting. As it became the finalist novel of the 1999 Booker Prize. Her Another novel, The Zigzag Way, published in 2004, and a collection of short stories. The Artist of Disappearance in 2011. In 1993, in Custody was adapted into an English film. It was directed by Smile Merchant and it won the President of India Gold Medal for Best Picture in 1994. She also received Winford Holt by Memorial prize in 1978 for fire on the mountains in 1978 she was honored with sahitya academy award in 1983 she received guardian children fiction prize for the village by the sea in 2007, she received Sahitya Acad Academic Fellowship and in 2014, she was awarded Padma Bhushan. This is all for today. 
थैंक यू